Hello everybody and welcome back to um, FNAF Help Wanted. Now I haven't played on anything in a little while because I ended up cutting my finger a few days after. I um, I played this and I cut it quite deep. I just wanted it to heal. So if you're waiting on anything, I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, I completed this before but I actually missed a tape. Welcome back to Parts and Service. I'm actually Foxy not sure has been where I'm piloted, but I missed some time. out it's there. This series of simple repairs it's should return there. him to full working condition. Oh. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. I'll just do oh, this thing no. quickly. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptor. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. I think it's it's what happens when stuff falls out the drawer, which isn't my fault, so I don't know why that happens. Steel Wall is a bit of a thingy company. For that, in my opinion. You're a bit of an arsehole, Steel Wall. I can't remember when Mangle's actually active. Hey, I told you you wouldn't have any problems. Did, uh, Foxy ever repair the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, oh. he was always my favorite. For nothing at all. Box, you know? <laughs> uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly and put him in a kid's home to keep the toddler right, entertained, move. you know. But kids these days can't eat their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together in every shift. Eventually they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take apart, put back together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. Oh. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard go lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you. That whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. Just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing at the end, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Wait, then who's... he's walking around. Oh, okay, Mango. Hello. Oh, hello there. Go away, Foxy. Hi. Hello. I will dread playing this one. The hardest difficulty on the wither difficulty, or it's called. The, the nightmare mode, basically. Boop! I don't like, I don't like the fact you see his snout. That's what, like, freaks me out. Friday. He's a teddy with a temper.
Go away, you cupcake bitch. Oh my god, it's... <gasps> no thanks. We don't want any old cookies. I, I don't know what's on my right. This is like the easier game as well, and I'm still fucking stressing about it. Oh yeah, I've, got a, I've actually got a theory for Mangle. I don't know if, if anyone's ever like thought about this either. So phone guy Scott calls Mangle um, a he, and then people are like, so what's Mangle's gender? Because we never know. Um, what I think actually happens is Mangle's gender is female because we see him on ladies night. But <clears throat> it's just because Scott, uh, phone guy, sorry, not Scott, it is Scott's voice. <clears throat> it's just because um, phone guy referred to them as a he. Like um, you would with an inanimate an object. Like something that's like sort of humanish, like an animatronic, you're gonna refer to as a bit of a he. If you don't really give one. Because I've done it before. I've done it with animals as well. Like baby animals. You don't know their gender, so you, you call them <clears throat> whatever you, you might think they might be. Hello, hello. Oh, fuck, fuck. So, yeah, just, that's just what I think. I got a plushie, but I wanted a fucking... I, w I wanted a, a action figure so I could die. Night 4. Is Glitch Trap... Yeah, William's still there. Hello, William. If I were in VR, I'd wave to you. I do like the music for this. I'll try and do the, the, what's it called, mode at some point, the Withered mode or the Nightmare mode. I still don't understand how, like, looking into this, you get, like, a, a princess thing, or what's it called, the princess candy game. I think you have to complete the game in, like, a bit of a 100%. play through FNAF 1, considering this is the last one, and I'll try and play through FNAF 1. Oh, FNAF 2, sorry, I should, should have said. Oh, hello! Uh, hey there, night 4! I told you to get the hang of it! Okay, so, uh, just to update you, uh, there's been somewhat of an investigation going on, uh, so we may end up having to close for a few days. Not what are you doing? Uh, I want to emphasize, though, that it's really just a precaution. Uh, Badger Entertainment denies any oh. wrongdoing. These things happen sometimes. Why does he look like he's squared up? Just keep an eye on things and I'll keep you posted. Uh, just as a side note, though, uh, try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronics inside of the camp. Uh, someone may have made a handprint with their facial recognition system. We're not sure. But the characters have been acting very unusual, almost aggressive towards the staff. They interact with the kids just fine. Jeremy, they know you're on a watch list. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Jimmy Fitzgerald is on a watch list. It's been confirmed, guys. It's canon. Oh. One of them's in my vent. This little shit. Get out. Oh, hi there, Foxy. You're still my favorite. Don't worry.
She's in my right vent, isn't she? No, she's in my left one. Bonnie always goes to the right. I've never really been in the appeal of, chi uh, of chickens. Like, they're okay. I like chickens. I like eating chicken. Wait, don't you flash... Mangle away? Or do you wear the mask? Excuse me, where the fuck were you? I've actually never been jump scared by Bonnie in this. <laughs> I've been jump scared by Freddy and Foxy a ton. If, if you've ever read Blue Capsules, I think you know who tampered with the animatronics. In their, in their lore, anyway. But it was probably William, wasn't it? He looks like a little gremlin! He looks like a right little fucking gremlin. Oh shit. He's on my... no he's not. Get out of here. Both of you get the fuck off. Why won't Mangle go away? I don't remember how you actually remove them. So who's in my vamp? Oh. Oh, okay. Get out of here. Foxy, get out. So, so Freddy can become a pro gamer. Hello. That is literally what happened at the end of this game on Alternate Custom Night. When they, they scrap all the animatronics, uh, they make sure Freddy has enough money to, to live comfortably and become a pro gamer. It's canon. It's a story. Mangles. No longer... Well, he's not. Yeah. Okay, he's moved.
Wait, then where's Mango? I always remember the Garrett Williamson, or whatever it's called, the FNAF Not Scary. I actually watched his channel, I just can't remember his name. Uh, Mom? Mom, is that you? I always remember that. I'm, I'm kind of like upset he stopped FNAF Not Scaries. Like, they were actually really good, but obviously he wanted to pursue uh, other stuff and not have people like drawn to his channel because he made a FNAF video. Once. He doesn't want to be known as the FNAF Not Scary guy. And to be fair with you, I don't think I would want to be known as that, because you, you do a video and it propels more than your other content. Because he did like um, a sort of like, not angry video game nerd, but like Hello. a sort of like nostalgia review channel. Where he like reviews old games. Oh, thank fuck. Where he like reviews older games. He, he's really good, I suggest. Him, and he reviews like, all the games from his childhood, and many others. Yes! I've always wanted an exotic beverage. <laughs> uh, I, re I don't want to play FNAF 1, but like, I gotta play it. Unless you do the vent repair. I actually did the vent repair before. I'll have a go at vent repair with Mangold, and then I'll have another go on FNAF 1. I don't want to play I don't want to play FNAF 1 because I'm actually a little baby. I think I prefer it when there's no doors. Welcome to Vent Repair. And I'm not claustrophobic. Fazbear Entertainment prides itself on having the most comfortable facilities. Each facility is set to a perfect 72 degrees all the time. The ah, four yeah. active indicator lights mean we have a well-functioning ventilation system. Your headlamp should protect you from any critters who may have stumbled into the ducts. As a certified vent technician, you should need no instruction. However, in case of an emergency, it is important to remember that as the vent technician, you should never, under any circumstances, attempt to... Oh. Bitch, I actually, um... I actually played this in the VR mode. Before, and I think it's harder in the VR mode. So... You're getting close. I don't like that. We don't like that. There's like something in there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you go up here, you do that. Now I'm vulnerable from like two sides or something. So is the Simon Says one that gets me. So you do that. Yeah, you do that. I saw blue, orange, red, green. Blue, orange, red, green. No. It's probably behind me. Because, like... Where is Mango? You slippery little bitch. Blue. Orange. Begins with orange, it ends with blue. Oh, 
orange, red, green. In my opinion, that's harder Perfect. than VR. 72 degrees. Good job. See you next time. And I can't do the NAD one. I've tried and tried. I really can't. Yeah! Marionette. Yeet. Right. FNAF 1 Night 1 is not that bad. And I can't even do the, the, the trick where you just like fucking hit control C and the rest of it where it was. It was like control C something. Oh You actually give me an actual PTSD. Tell you a bit, mate. There's nothing to worry about. You'll, you'll buy it. So let's just focus on getting you to your first version, okay? Yeah. Uh, this is a reading from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or persons. Upon discovering the damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached. Apartments have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do need a bit of money and life, but why would it come to go? Oh, he's there. Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watcher here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Bye. He just likes humming. I know he doesn't activate until like night four. Not night four. No, not night four. Like night three. Go away. He knows I got the cheese sticks. Okay, I thought she'd be behind the door though.
where the fuck is Chica then? Because she's not like on my door anymore. Oh. He's in the broom closet. Go away, Chica. So he's there. This is like a fake cut, right? There we go. I still hate FNAF 1. Like, I don't find it that, that fun. Like, I find FNAF 2 stressful, but at least it's, like, fun. And FNAF 3, because, like, FNAF 3 is relatively easy for me, because I learned from, um, Dorco's, like, way of playing it. You just keep, uh... Springtrap in, I think, Cam 13, you just keep layering them there. Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards, almost like plug and play, digitally recreating performances and personalities from the past in an instant. Well, I'm gonna, um... We did Night 4, didn't we? I'm gonna stop recording as it's um, 27, in, 27 minutes in, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!